Hi again. It's hit me lately that a lot of the supposed biblical advice that maybe you've been seeing in the form of memes or, or email forwards, it's often not exactly from the Bible. There are a lot of sayings or ideas and quips that people accredit to scriptures that aren't actually there. For example, the forbidden fruit that Eve and Adam ate in the garden. How many times haven't you seen that picture of a nice, red, juicy, delicious apple with a bite out of it? Well, the Bible says just the fruit was good for food and pleasing for the eye. It doesn't say what kind it was. It certainly doesn't say anything about an apple. Or how about the fact that the Bible says that Jonah was swallowed by a great big fish and not a whale? Yet what do so many pictures portray? Well, often you see a Pinocchio-like whale with Jonah just sitting there comfortably inside. Or the idea that many have that when you die, you become an angel. Now, completely unscriptural, but how many movies like It's a Wonderful Life portray it that way? And then there are those misquoted passages like, Money is the root of all evil. When it really says in scripture, the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Or how many times haven't we heard things like cleanliness is next to godliness or God works in mysterious ways. Both of these aren't in the Bible. And then there's the when God closes a door, he opens a window or God helps those who help themselves. Bad things happen to good people or there are plenty of fish in the sea. Now I could probably go on all day with more, but again, none of those are actually in the Bible. One of the passages, though, that I have seen thrown around a lot during this pandemic is the thought that God will not give you more than you can handle. Now, I wish I could tell you that was from Scripture and that was true, because while it sounds nice and comforting, especially as we wait for life to return to normal, what God really said in 1 Corinthians 10, 13 is, no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind, and God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will provide a way out so that you can endure it. Now that makes a really big difference, doesn't it? You see, God has told us that he's given us a way out of temptation. Not that suffering or pain will only be to what we can handle. In fact, when you consider what God promises his followers, we are to take up our cross and it's not going to be easy or pleasant. In fact, many of the original followers of Christ, they ended up dying pretty horrific deaths for following after him. Many Christians to this day suffer and die from terrible diseases, from old age, and from horrible accidents. So what's my point in all of this? Well, my encouragement to you during these days where you might hear and see some pretty good sounding or even Christian sounding advice is, go back to scriptures, test the spirits, Be faithful students of the word and and dive into scriptures to see if what you are hearing is God's word or the invention of man. Take the opportunity that we've been given to go back to the word which does give us everything we need for eternity. Because God is faithful and he's faithful to his promises. So search them out, cherish them, live them and share them as we read the Bereans did in Acts chapter 17, verses 10 through 11. As soon as it was night, the brothers sent Paul and Silas away to Berea. On arriving there, they went to the Jewish synagogue. Now the Bereans were of more noble character than the Thessalonians, for they received the message with great eagerness and examined the scripture every day to see if what Paul said was true. So my friends, stay eager for the word of God, and I'll see you again soon.